So, how this shraddha is transmitted? It's explained in Srimad Bhagavatam. Satam prasangam mama virya sam vidho bhavanti ritkana rasayana kata tat joshanat ashu apabhava bhakmani shraddha bhakti shraddha rati bhakti anukrimisiti that sadhu, sadhu he's speaking harikata but by this very sweet harikata rasayana kata that tat joshanat ashu apabhava bhakmani Satam prasangam mama virya sam vidho bhavati vikana rasayana kata. That this very sweet harikata. Why it's very sweet? Because the sadhu, he has Krishna within his heart. Very high class of sadhu. And Krishna who is situated within his heart is manifesting from his heart through his lips and coming in the form of sound. This is very rasayana kata. He's coming in form of Shabda Brahma. And that person who is hearing, he's being attracted by this very sweet harikata from the sadhu, is going into his ear, and there, transcendental paramatic shraddha is being inculcated within his heart. This is the process by which paramatic shraddha is coming. There's two types of shraddha, paramatic shraddha and lokik shraddha. Lokik shraddha is a worldly faith in so many material things, but paramatic shraddha, this is transcendental shraddha. This shraddha is described by Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. Shraddha, shraddha shabde vishwas kahe suri dhanis joy. Krishna bhakti kole sabha karma kritamai. That one who has a very firm and unflinching determination that only by engaging in devotion service I have no other duties to perform. That this is a symptom of this seed of um, the bhakti latte, devotion kripa. This is a symptom of transcendental shraddha. That one who had that determination, Gurudev many times he gives example of Prahlad Maharaj, that he was ill-treated so badly by his father, but he never gave up his determination in, de in devotion service. The scene of the mood of Srila Haridas Thakur, he said that you may whip me, uh, you may cut me into thousands and thousands of pieces, but I'll never give up holy name. So by hearing from Sadhu, high class sadhu, then the seed of this mood is inculcated within the heart. Then, as Radhanath Prabhu has explained, that this paramatic shraddha, it has two divisions Lobamai shraddha and Shastra Atta shraddha. By one, sh the sadhu who is of mood of Vaikuntha, he will inculcate into the heart of the listener a shraddha which leads to Vaikuntha. And Lobamai Shraddha, as Radha Prabhu explained, this Shraddha, which is um, symptomized by greed. Shastra Atta Abar Abaranamai Shraddha. No. Shastra Abadharanamai. Shastra Abadharanamai. Shastra Abadharanamai Shraddha. What is that? This Shraddha. This is symptomized by um, a type of affair that if I do not, all scriptures have said that we should engage in bhakti. And if one does not engage in bhakti, if instead one engages in activities of vanasha, taking care of so many worldly activities, the result is that ultimately one will get a hellish um, result. So understanding that without engaging in bhakti, that one will not really get happiness, but rather the result will be hellish. Then propelled by this motivation, one engages in, in devotional service. This is Shastra Avaradana Mahishraddha. Then next is Loba Mahishraddha. Or this, we may call, it is separate part by the bhakti. And in toughest result, it may take you to so, so, by this shraddha, engaging in devotional service in this, with this seed, then the topmost level that one can achieve is Vaikuntha. But then, next is Loba Mai Shraddha. That, by hearing Harikata from the lips of a Rasik, Babu devotee, one, as Gurudev has explained, who is um, surfing in the ocean of Bhakti Ras, 
by hearing such harikata, sweet harikata, the pastimes of Krishna and Vrindavan, then this incult inculcates Loba Mahishraha. This shraddha is symptomized by a greed that one is hearing of the pastimes of Sridham, Madhu Mangal. Uh, one is hearing of pastimes of Mother Yashoda, just as we're in Brisbane. And Gurudev was explaining the pastimes of Krishna in Batsaliras, those devotees like Mother Yashoda. Hearing such pastimes, then one develops a greed that, oh, I would like to serve like that. Or one may hear of the pastimes of Krishna with the main with the damsels of Vrindavan, and hearing such pastimes, then one will develop a greed that, oh, I would like to serve like that. Then this Lobamai Shraddha, being watered by the process of hearing and chanting, then this ultimately will take one to Goloka Vrindavan. Then, upon receiving the... I'm giving you one example. You know that Bilva Mangal, in his first career, he was a Brahmin boy, having so many good qualities. He was, his character was very hard. And serving father and mother, also. But anyhow, she was in the tribe, he was in the tribe of Chin Samani, a prostitute, but not ordinary prostitute, but always singing the glories of Krishna in free melody kirtan. And she was most beautiful. And one day singing the song of Krishna's free power. Like Narada Rishi, what do you Narada Muni, Vajaya Veena, Radhika Ramana Name, Radhika Ramana Name, Radhika Ramana Name. Like this, a very sweet song of Krishna. So many wives used to come. Only no. And he saw and heard her kitten and he heard, she, heard, she was so much attracted by her of so beauty. And gradually he and for the greed of money she used to uh, sing so many beautiful songs to and by going what constitution continuously he knew so many things of Krishna so many though his was sung by a prostitute he knew no but after some time he took all his money and the day, you know, that one day his father was gone. He was so much attached to this prostitute. He could not check himself. Because so much. Thing. It was so rainy, cold day. The rapid, the river was over flooded. No way to go. No boat was there. In the dark night, in midnight, anyhow, he gave something to Brahmins. He fed them. But so many things he collected and took in his gum shop of our prostitute. And he left. He was saying, how I can cross the river of this thing? Finally he saw that, oh, there are some wood, wood or anything. Oh, by this, I should. 
and he took the help of that and anyhow very difficulty he crossed anyhow he was trembling with cold severe cold war he went or oh, near the house of prostitute the wall fencing well was very hard or oh, it was very difficult to cross this how that is rope a rope is coming from the wall and it took that rope and anyhow he was trembling so much anyhow he or reached at the top of the wall but after that he became senseless and he fell down <coughs> the other side and in this side of prostitute and there was a song prostitute heard the song oh hey what song did it he told to his son make sure that he quickly saw outside oh very near a person is lying down perhaps he had fallen down from the top of wall oh with a torch or anyhow with a light she saw oh he is the lamb the lamb both they took anyhow in the house and warmed him giving some hot and then when he came in senses then they crossed how you then oh really that was not any <coughs> Oh, food or anything? They body and so much foul smell is coming from the house. Bad smell was coming, but he had no smell because he was so thirsty. He was totally embarked in the lust, so no bad smell came, and he never saw that a old dead body. Apparently, it was dead body, but he and after some time. He anyhow, and that was not rope on the wall. A very poisonous snake, very long and bite. He was catching, catch holding of that, but he never realized this is a snake. Or oh, this is also like that, very nasty. And then he became senseless. So prostitutes say, "No, go to store." If I have a taste for Krishna, a fraction, what fraction? Fraction. Fraction. Even a fraction. <coughs> oh, you have this. Then to Krishna. So I cannot do anything. हमारे रक्त शरीर मंच के लिए तुम इतना व्हाट इज इन माय बॉडी स्टूल यूरिन लैटिन एंड ऑल दिस थिंग कवर्ड विथ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल बट नथिंग वेल यू विल सी यूरिन लास्ट एंड एंड सो मेनी एंड सो मच बैड स्प्रेड विल कम फ्रॉम दिस स्टूल If you will छोड़ देगा एक अपना बायु भी दुर्गम से भर जाएगा वाह If you pass wind yeah. If pass wind <laughs> and this smell will cover the whole cover the whole area and you will do like <laughs> oh this is full of that and you are thinking now. Oh, And he rebuked him. And by the past previous intercession, he cast in the heart of him. At once he left. What is this? Oh, Shukriti was there. And so he took it seriously. <laughs> And that once he left, 
when he was going in the way, and go to Vrindavan, he decided that to shoot. He was going, and he saw that on. After one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, he was going, remembering the strokes of the kirtan of that prostitute. Going. On the veil he saw so many beautiful girls. They were taking cooling water. And he saw that a very young girl, very, very beautiful. And his eyes attracted to her. He told that, can you give me water? And she gave water. Then he was thinking something. And when that lady returned to his home, he was falling. And making something decision in the way. When she reached in house and he entered, she entered. Oh, he came there. Now he was in the shape of a sadhu. Big, big, like, long, long bear. Uh, like us. And like sadhu, nothing. Then his husband did pranam to him. What do you want? What can I serve? How I can serve? Oh, I'm okay. I want to meet with your sister wife. He was sincere. So he never took any offense or any bad thing. He went inside and told, Oh, yes, I'm following you from that hell. He wants to meet you. I don't know why. Oh, she, she was also, she was also sincere, she can. What you want, how can we serve? You can take prasadam here and you can rest you. He told that, oh, I, I have some request. Can you give your two hairpins? Hairpin? Oh, why not? I must keep him, if you like. See this. And in front of all, well, he took it. And he took the pluck. And then blood was coming. And he returned back. Oh, now it is okay. Not anything, not anything. Oh, these eyes are very bad. They have cheated many, so many times. Now they cannot cheat, because I can. And then I will remember this. And then he was going, Krishna, Krishna. And in the meantime, Krishna saw how he will go. He took a step of man, like a boy, with his lakuti, stick, stick. And he came at home. Oh Baba, where will you go? I'm going to Vrindavan. Who are you? I'm a boy, local boy. Oh, I want to go to Vrindavan. Oh, myself also going to Vrindavan. I live in Vrindavan. I was here for any reason. How you want to go? Oh, I can take you. You can have it. Hold my stick. Hold my stick and I will take you. And he hold on his stick. And Pilla Mangal, what doing? Oh. Chinta Manir. Jayati Soma. Jayati Soma. Ki Guru Me. Guru Me. Siksha Guru Sto Bhagavan. Siksha Guru Sto. Bhagavan Siksha Mauli. Siksha Mauli. Nila Swam Parasam. Vavate Jayasri. Jayasri Laiti. And he began to glorify this. He was thinking that this boy will never understand all these things. And in the way, what doing? Prayas, prayas. So beautiful coming from him. And it was very pleasing to Krishna. In the year of Krishna, so it was given name Krishna. Krishna. Krishna Das Prabhupada Goswami and all 
other. Very beautiful experience. Oh, oh, this is. This is what? Transcendental Sattva by Sukhriti. And very gradually that impression came. And Krishna made it so much favorable. And he went to Vrindavan and very soon he. Krishna has arranged like that. It is a party of Sadhu Sangh, but don't follow him. But if we come to Sadhu with any material reasons, that may change. No harm. That may change and then become. Yes, Sadhu Sangh may change. He has taken him like his. Oh, but for the Sad Guru. Was she a pure devotee? Huh? Was no, she? she was not. But Krishna made this arrangement. Any person who is detached from worldly uh, sense, <laughs> he is living. Living means? Not too much attached, not detached. <laughs> <coughs> if it is any person is totally detached, <coughs> totally detached from worldly desire, or oh, he is in the way of yeah. gyan, he cannot be bhakta. His all thing has been burnt. So he cannot come. Those who are totally ashakta, too much attached. They are not, oh, they are karmi. Very hard to make them. Those who are not attached so much, not detached so much. Like being a like other. Then very quickly you will come in the line of you. But if your heart, all desires and everything has been. And then Lord Narayan disappeared. And he began weeping and weeping. And then, all of a sudden, he heard an aerial voice, a voice from the sky. And that was Lord Narayan. And he said, because you're not completely pure, he had some tiny desire in the mode of goodness. That is, his desire was not bad. It was, I'd like to do bhajan in a secluded, um, very sacred place by a river, alone in the forest. So he said, because you're not completely pure yet, you won't be able to see me until all those desires are completely washed away. So if you want to see me permanently, then you should chant my glories, chant my holy name, preach all over, and gradually you'll become pure. And when you're completely pure, then you'll be able to see me permanently. So this is one level of a pure sadhu. More than that, is Sri Sukadeva Goswami, who spoke the Srimad Bhagavatam to Maharaj Pariklit. And then Narada Muni, when he became fully purified, and he left his material body, and at once he got a spiritual body of Narada, with which, with that body, he's able to travel all over any planet in any material universe, and in any spiritual planet, even going to Goloka Vrindavan, and the planet where Ramchandra lives, all over the Vaikuntha planets, and without any spaceship, only dancing through the skyways with his Veena, he can go anywhere and serve so many incarnations of the Lord. Then he became the topmost kind of sadhu. So in this way, according to one's Sukritis and Sanskars, one meets that level of sadhu, and having met, let's say, many different people meet the highest level of sadhu, According to one's sukhutis and sanskars from previous births, he's able to follow more or less. Just like I asked Gurudev some years ago in Vrindavan, I see so many of your devotees, especially your Indian devotees, they're chanting one lakh a day, two lakhs a day, and they sleep two or three hours a night, and the rest of the time chanting and serving. How can I be like them? He said, don't imitate them, because then you'll fall apart. 
They have so many lives in the background, and that's why they're able to follow so easily.
But when he left, what he did? Any arrangement for their sons and daughters and always saying, this is my responsibility. And he kicked all these responsible like football. <laughs> he forget everything. Now only no responsibility. Oh, very special. Very special. Very special. <coughs> like Mahaprabhu, you know? Kamo Prana Prajanana. कहाँ लगी कहाँ जाऊँ कहाँ पर कहाँ पाऊँ प्रजन मली देश तो अब से लाइफ साधु संगा अनाथ अनुभूति भजन क्रिया बड़ी भजन क्रिया यू कैन यू कैन यू भजन क्रिया समथिंग
telling that you are deciding that the son who has that you are walking within his heart, all the tough parts, he has realized, and he can give that to those who are As much as they have, yes. if they are so pure, as much as they have collected <coughs> bhakti is in them, that much they can help. Not like uh, not, not like Sukhdev Goswami, not like that. They will uh, help you so much. But according to the strange technique. He is telling that at the Bhakta, any Bhakta devotee may have learned so many things. And Learning will not do. I know that she never went to college. I never went to college. I have not read. Uh, Ka, ka, ga, anuswar, visar, I have never. But I know so many anuswar, visar, in Mathura here and there. All they have break chatur veda with sound, with harshva, uh, dirgha, ruta, and so many things. Rudasta, Rudasta, sorry. Oh, they have left, they have very long, but they have no bhakti at all. They are Mayabadi totally. Are it known Mayabad? They don't give preference to bhakti than worldly responsibility and making money. Although they are engaged in making money and position, politics, and all that. I know so many high cross of I think that also, have you gone to school? Uh, colleges and Shamani? Me? Hmm? I went to college, but I took LSD in my, my college year. And then when I met Prabhupada, I quit college. And that was my whole college. Oh. <laughs> Trying to come and believe in the college of, uh, the school of Bhakti Sumit Das Baba in Maharaj. Totally blind. Haridas Oh, come in the University of Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur is school, not school. More than college. And Gopi Sautasava and Mara. Oh. He was blind. Oh. He was not qualified to write his name in Bengali even. But he was the guru of the most learned person in the whole universe at that time. You know, what this is answer. So this was like he Go. One time you said in Holland that you cannot get the association of Rupa Nuga Vaishnava by Sukriti. You can only get it by mercy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. Oh, but don't miss your Guru Dev Kripa. Guru Dev Kripa Tareke Mujh Ko Apna Lena